What's up guys? Uh, using my new camera again. I bumped up the contrast and the color a bit so it should be a little bit better. I played with a camera around the house. Uh, it's not the camera's fault really that the colors were drowned out. The colors look much better now. Um, actually, I think in video I can show you. That's what the colors did look like. Just kind of drowned out, subdued. Um, under normal circumstances, the colors look excellent, though. Uh, like in the kitchen with the blinds open, where natural sunlight comes in, the white balance nails it, and uh, everything else looks great. But there you go, the colors bump back up. That looks more similar to the uh, DSLR I was shooting on. This thing is really high quality, though, so it's doing a good job. I've got the frame rate nailed down and everything. The colors are just a little bit more subdued than the digital SLR, but that is honestly to be expected. There's not much you can do about that uh, other than shoot with a, a digital SLR. Um, anyway, on to the whole point of this video. I've gotten a few requests, more than a few requests, to explain what a micro bevel is. Um, a micro bevel. I guess I'll just jump right into it. Essentially, is a tertiary bevel added to uh, a knife's edge, and I'll explain what that means. With a normal knife, you have a primary grind, which is the actual grind of the knife, in this case a flat grind. Then you have your secondary edge bevel, which is essentially your edge. Um, essentially, Come on, this part, the shiny part here. That's your secondary bevel. Uh, normally knives just have your primary, which is up here, and then your secondary, which is down here. Um, that's fine, that geometry works for many, many people, many, many knives. But <clears throat> sometimes, to get strength, this secondary edge bevel is sometimes fairly obtuse. Won't cut that great in some cases. So what people do, is to make their knife cut a little bit better they will actually thin the edge out just like this so they essentially grind all this away all this out here is gone and you're just left with again your primary bevel and then your secondary bevel which is these two skinny lines right here so imagine all this is gone and you're just left with that this will cut really well really really well but it won't be won't be all that strong uh, in most cases again this is a generalization um, won't be all that strong will cut great so what do you do if you want to thin your edge out and have a nice nice edge for cutting performance yet Every time you cut something just a little bit harder, abrasive, your edge either rolls or dents or chips even, God forbid. Um, well, in this case, you would apply a micro bevel. And this drawing is essentially this, zoomed way up, but without the micro bevel. Now it has a micro bevel. So you have your primary grind up here, which is again, just the grind of the knife, in this case flat. You have your secondary, which again is the shiny part, just the edge bevel. And then you have a tertiary. And again, this is on a microscopic level. This is zoomed up. You have yet another edge angle that's even steeper than this to add strength. Um, and that's essentially what a micro bevel is. Uh, this knife does have a micro bevel, although it might be a little hard to see. Um, you have to have just the right light to show it. You have your primary up here, your secondary down here where it's real shiny, and then the edge will catch light right there. See how the very, very apex of this edge is uh, really bright? It's reflecting light. That's because it's at a different angle and it's reflecting light. There you go. There's a good shot of it right there. All this shininess at the edge is a micro bevel. 
that's what that is and the reason it's reflecting light and the rest of the bevel isn't is because it's on a different angle I can make the primary primary uh, or secondary bevel reflect light and then I can angle it up and now only the micro bevel is reflecting light that's a pretty good shot of it thanks to this new camera I can actually do this alright that's what a micro bevel looks like this edge without a micro bevel um, would dent and roll pretty bad um, it's a shallow edge about 28 degrees inclusive so it's not very strong in cutting without a micro bevel um, this tertiary tertiary bevel aka the micro bevel adds a lot of strength without sacrificing much of that cutting performance you still get a lot of cutting performance with this but you also get the strength granted side by side this thinned out edge will cut better but you're not going to notice much of a difference in day-to-day -day tasks with a micro bevel but you will notice a big difference in edge stability with a micro bevel um, that's pretty much the gist of it people were asking how do you apply it uh, essentially you just thin your edge out like I did here uh, and then you're left with a very thin apex edge and then you take a tool like a sharp maker and just use the 40 degree setting so to apply a micro bevel if you want to use the 40 degree setting on the sharp maker make your secondary bevel anything shallower than 40 degrees if that makes sense make it anything more acute it could be 39 38 so on to zero I mean theoretically uh, anything shallower than 40 will work with a sharp maker to apply a micro bevel um, granted the higher you get the closer to 40 you get the less it's going to be a micro bevel and the more it's going to be just you sharpening the secondary bevel you want it to be something at least 35 or below to make it work good um, you don't have to have something like a sharp maker to to set a micro bevel say you're sharpening freehand and you're sharpening at this angle which we'll just call 15 degrees when you're done and you've created a sharp edge you will actually increase your angle a good bit and then do a series of extremely light strokes on a very very fine stone and that will apply a micro bevel as well um, pretty much any machine that can sharpen a knife can apply a micro bevel because it's nothing magical it's just a shallow edge with a higher angle bevel added to that shallow edge um, no trickery or anything like that involved it's uh, it's a really good tool to use to get an edge that cuts really really well like this does yet still retain a lot of that strength that your uh, factory bevel had so hope this clears that up guys hope it helps you um, if I didn't cover something as always let me know and let me know what you think about the new colors I don't look nearly as green I feel like and the wood actually looks deep rich red um, gonna get more light because this is like the perfect storm of lighting I have incandescent bulbs behind me I have a CFL compact compact fluorescent bulbs uh, going right above me and then in the kitchen right over there I have a uh, tube fluorescent so there's three different light sources all coming together to create something that just confuses the hell out of the camera so I may have to get a primary light source and a diffuser like uh, exacto was talking about so anyway, let me know what you think of the quality and the, uh, the video. If I missed something, let me know. But i uh, give you one more close-up of what a micro bevel looks like, I guess, before we go. Camera has fo trouble focusing on shiny things. I've noticed that. So you have reflecting off your secondary edge bevel there go up now we we're reflecting off nothing but the micro bevel you see the very very edge is reflecting light and nothing else is that's your micro bevel see how close we can get real close so yeah that's it guys pretty much what it looks like love being able to do these macro shots Good macro, the satin finish did on the clip. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.